How did you get into your mother's show in the first place? Well, I've seen people a long time, you know, other fellows working on the show. And I looked at them and I wished I was one of them. Well, after a while, the pink told me, said, man, don't be scared. You know, pink let me out of show you. said, don't be scared. What if I got up there tremble like a leaf on a tree? After I got with him a little while, you know, then I got brave then, you know. And I was faced the crowd, you know, Pink backing me up too, you know. Then when I first saw Pink in 1970, he was working with a mess of Dr. Jones, you know, it was showing that day I would have them knee bridges, but Pink left me old now, you know. He was about 17 or 18. I said, oh, that's a bad man, you know. <laughs> yeah, and then Pink got me, put me up. I mean, let me out of crossfire with him, you know. You know what you call a crossfire? That's like I was the ex roof, I said. How many sides the house got to you? He said, full side. I said, you're full sided up alive, Pink told me, you know. And the house got eight sides to it. I said, well, well, can you name them? He said, yeah. He said, yeah, there's a north side, east side, west side, south side, top side, bottom side, inside, and outside. <laughs> yeah, 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 that way, you know. And then Pink asked me one time, say, what was money first originated in? I don't know. I said, money was originated in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He said, you don't feel it in Pennsylvania, that's a lie. I said, what where was money originated in? He said, no, it was up. I said, how in the world, no, I didn't know anything about money. Can you prove it? He said, yeah. He asked me this way, you know. He said, didn't. And the frog going there, he said, I know how, exactly how much is in Noah's Ark. I said, how much? $3.51, he said. I said, prove it to me. He said, didn't the frog go in Noah's Ark? I said, yeah. He didn't have a greenback? Yeah. One dollar right there. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah. He said, look here. He said, didn't the duck go in Noah's Ark? I said, yeah. Didn't they have a bill? I said, yeah. Two dollars right there. <laughs> so then the, then the little, little, little teenage duck go and no long. I said, yeah. That's half a bill right there. <laughs> you know, little duck, you know, half a bill. So then the lamb go and no long. I said, yeah, but what that got to do with money, man? He said, didn't they have four quarters? I three dollars, fifty cents right there. Then it stopped a while, you know. Mm -hmm. I said, you the only you told me it was $3.51 and no luck. Now, where did that cent come from? He stopped a little while ago. So, so then the goat going no luck? I said, yeah, didn't he have a cent? Hey, <laughs> $3.51. <laughs> That's what he do. <laughs> yeah, he was a funny fellow. He was a bad man on the messenger. Dancer. Yeah, and didn't mean him. That old rug boat, you know. And would beat the rug boat. That rapper could play pretty good. Couldn't you, Oh, yeah. Best you ever heard. <laughs> yeah, good singer, too. You yeah. I knew we would get there when I was in Cincinnati one time, showing down on John Street. Central John, right there. And we showing up. Went to step over the stage, we were way up, you know, we had that big stage you know, along with this room. And I got up there and danced, and I got ready to step over, I stepped <laughs> peg, and I went down, fell down on the ground, broke the peg, just showed off right there. Yo! Knocked the baby out of the wounds on, I laying there on the ground looking up. <laughs> People that laugh and say, God, did he hurt it? I didn't hurt my dog. And I'd look and if I went right up there, a little place, you know, man, the wake shop up there, he made me another side right quick, you know, for two dollars. He charged me four and then he cut it down. I come back up there and got him showed out, shown up there, you know. 
Yes, I work with a heap of them, you know. But I work with this one, I work with, they call him Thundercloud, you know. I work with another fella, Jeffrey, they call him Thundercloud. Work with Smiley, long time I did. Work with a little fella called Emmett Smith, his own was no. That's the one I went down to Mississippi with, and my brother had to send him to get me. <laughs> Never did pill. <laughs> Yes, uh, but the rent man was looking at me, great God. I wasn't paying no rent. I didn't know. Say, I ain't gonna put you out. I know the, I know my time wasn't long enough. I wrote and told my brother, send me $40, it cost $29 or something for me. To he sent it, they never had no Somebody to bring it out, you know, I had to go down there. I stayed a week long, and money already. Now, a lady come by one morning and say, You got some money down there, Sam? I What? I didn't want to tell him in front of the rent man. <laughs> and that rapper followed me down. I had to give him six of them dollars out of them four. I had to give him six. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to get up in the snow or rain every day. And when I got back home, I wasn't that, wasn't that crooked fellow when he got off the plane the other day. When, you know, coming from Vietnam, you know. When he got over there, I thought he couldn't walk on it. Five years old, you know, and he used to wait with us, with another fellow, smiling, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know about that, sir? Yeah. Yeah. I used to show with Peg Biggs from Silas Green. Green, I sure was with Silas Green a long time. Head comedian on that one. Yeah. When was that? That was Peg B started off with Silas Green. Dancing. So you were both there? You and Peg Bates and Silas Green? I was ready with him. He's on Silas Green too. I seen him cut one of my steps about two, three years ago with him. I had to sell a show, you know. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I seen him. He put him on there once in a while. You know, you're retired now. Put him on every once in a while. And he's, he's, got a, he's got a club up in New Jersey. Yeah, I know. He got it up on that hill, they claim yeah. it. He made $500 a week for a long time, Cotton Club, New York, you know. Good morning. Peg <laughs> Big, yeah. Dancing. Mm. I could dance good as him, but he's the first man to come out, you know. First man to come out, you know. I wasn't no good after he done come out, That's you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it killed me. I danced, you know, people don't see you dance a little, but they big was the captain. I used to have that step I called a honey child. When I get up and cut it, you know. I tell them some mama don't let your mouth run juice, cause I'm already mad. <laughs> Yes, uh, Ruth. Mm-hmm. You, uh, you know that about buying Bill and Ring Brother Suckers, you know? Yeah, I was down there. I was down there, man. You ought to be. You was down there too, wasn't you? I was so, yeah. What cage you was in? Well, I wasn't in the cage. <laughs> oh, you know I, I was walk, up in a tree. Look, I walked down <laughs> through that nasty alley, you know. Yeah. I mean, that drive the neighborhood. I looked out there, you know what I seen? Mm-hmm. What did you see? One of them great big old shaggy dogs. And he's howling and growling. You tell me so high. Yeah, howling. I've never seen a dog like that before in my life. Oh, when you ever seen a dog howl and growl all at the same time? Well, what, what if it wasn't a dog, what was it? A lion. That's a lion, a lion or something. You're another lion. Didn't I see that dog in my own eyes? Well, them is your eyes, but I never so seen them in my eyes. You call me a lie? You said that. Mm-hmm. You call me a lie? No, I didn't call you a lie. I said you did. You said something like that. I said you did. You did. I didn't. You did. I didn't. You did. You're a lie. I didn't. <laughs> look, well, that's now, right. now, Ruth, me <laughs> look here. I went on down through that nasty alley. Mm-hmm. My natural You said my natural Oh, that's what it is? You know what I looked at there and seen? What did you see? I seen one of them red, big old things. Mouth looked like it's that big. Mm-hmm. Looked like a beef river. Then that's the ugliest thing a man told me was hip on top of the army bus. Hip-mo- a hip-mo-pot-in-bus. Hit who in the mouth with a part of money? You mean hip-mo-pot-in-bus? You know what I do to you? What would you do? 
I'll hit you so hard, your shirt tail go to your back like a window shade. Man, don't, don't tell talking about hitting me in the mouth with yeah. no part of my side. Well, I, t- I, I, tell tell you, I tell you, brother, that's the name of the animal. Oh, that's the name of the animal? Yeah. Well, tell a fool something. Look, I marched on down through that nasty alley. Yeah. Menagerie. Menagerie. Oh, yeah. I said, loud, don't be scared. Yeah, mm-hmm. Menagerie. Menagerie. Yeah. I looked out there in front of me again. Uh-huh. What did you see? Uh, what did you see? I saw one of them great long old Nick things. His neck was so long that he even leaves out of the top of a tree. A man told him, Johnny, get your grab. The giraffe. That's your giraffe. What? A giraffe. Mm-hmm. So what's wrong? What's wrong now? What's the matter with you? I wish I had a neck like that thing. Why? <laughs> I took a drink of this chapel here to liquor this week. Uh-uh. Feel it this time next week. I'm going on down. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Mm-hmm. I marched on down through that nasty area. Yeah, but natural. Oh, that's what I said. Yeah, you know, I looked out there in front of me again, you know what I seen? What did you see? Great big old engine rubber cow. What? Yeah, great big old, great big old engine rubber cow. So that was a little. That must have been an elephant. Are you, am I, are you talking about my ain't nelly? Don't you talk about my ain't nelly boy like that. That thing I seen, that, that thing I seen, he had two tails. Mm-hmm. And he's eating hay with that front tail. Mm-hmm. You tell me that. That the front was his trunk. Yeah, that was his trunk in front. Well, <laughs> all I got to say now, you know what that? That other little thing must have been a suitcase what I seen shaking my eye. <laughs> yeah, that way. <laughs> yeah, funny things happen in this world, Ruth. Funny things mm-hmm. happen every day. Yeah. Is that the sort of pattern you would have with Tink? Oh, is, is, that, is that the sort of pattern yeah, you would have with Yeah, we crossed all down that way. That's right. Yeah, yeah I crossed for like two hours up here. I'll do it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll go again for you directly, though. It's on right on? No. I'm on, too. Hot as a firecracker, red hot and still a heat. And, Roof? Yes, sir. <laughs> I got a little question I want to ask you. Ask me anything? If good? I was to give you $5 of silk, Five dollars in green bet and five dollars in gold. What would you have? I'd have fifteen dollars. <laughs> you must have misunderstood me, did you? I said if I was to give you five dollars in silver, five in green bet, and five in gold, what would you have? I'd have fifteen dollars. <laughs> you done fifteen dollars up a lot. You know how much? You know what you'd have? What would I have? You'd have a fit if I was fool enough to get to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Funny things happen. Now, Ruth, I'm going to ask you one more little question. Okay. If me and you and your wife was out on a boat ride, mm-hmm. And on your way back in, that boat struck a snag, your wife was drowned, and you was drowned, and I was drowned. Which one of us would you say? Well, I tell you what I would do. What? I'd say my cook. Well, how come? You always get another cook. Well, I can always get another boat, but I can't get another cook fast. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon you want to know which one I'd say. Now, which one would you say? me and my mother-in-law and you were out on a boat ride mm-hmm. and on my way back in, I struck a snag. Which one of them you think I'd say? You say your mother-in-law. <laughs> I'd save the snag. How come? How come you save the snag? See, you always can get another boat. You always can get another mother-in-law. But who in the world could you get a dead old snag to drown that old devil all at once? <laughs> you know what I'm talking Yeah, 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 yeah so. When you traveled round, what is that? When you traveled round, Sam, where, whereabouts did you travel? Oh, uh, all around Ohio, 
all are dying with zoo, all up in Minnesota, St. Paul and Minneapolis, you know, two twins, all up to them, any place. I never did go no further this way in Baltimore with, you know. I went the other way around, you know, like Ohio, and back all back around there, all out west, from on down, you know, from on down to uh, New Mexico, all anywhere, all out Colorado, you know. Even down that was all down Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, Texas, like that, you know. Yeah, back up to Kansas, you know, that way. You stayed around Rocky Mount a lot. A long time. I broadcast there four months out of here for about 25 years. Then I was gone after I get through broadcasting there, go again. You know. Man be right there for me. Fennel's warehouse, you know. But to give you a family, you know. They still, I can go back right now and grow a if I want to get ready. He'd be glad to see me. He said, worry about me when I stay off sometime two, three years before I go back before he see me, you know. Saying, grieve about me, great gun, die you. That, that old man, he died, you know. Last word he said, old Sam. He hit me, he said, the only thing he did, he hit me playing, you know, fuck chase, he loved for me to play that, you know. Yeah, I stayed there a long time. Have you ever done anything else except work medicine shows and, and play? Not too much of nothing else. That's you know, I, I used to work out in Nashville, I mean in Nashville, with uh, Dr. Thompson. They had a jig show, you know, on Carnival. And we show all around Memphis, you know, all out to Indiana. He had some rides and the jig show on the counter. I was the head comedian on that. He never did pay off though. Hmm. He died. I'm glad of it. I said, well, he ain't gonna pay me no huh? Promise me. He never did pay me much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Jeffrey never did pay me. He died. Look like everyone didn't pay me down. They should have paid you, shouldn't they? They should have paid me to live. <laughs> yeah, pay me that. Nothing. They paid it, but they paid it every little six feet on the ground, you know. Four feet with the buried in a shadow. Well, you must have been praying for him. I never prayed for him, but the good Lord know they didn't do right. Yeah, I tell you, I'm good with chief, a good paymaster, whatever you promise you, you'll get it. Mm -hmm. Smiley, the name was Frank Curry, you know, but they called him Smiley, another white fellow with me. Pay me. If he worked that day, he paid me for that day. He worked that night, he paid me again, the same as he paid me that day. Them two best paymasters ever, ever worked with. Oh, Jesse wouldn't pay Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 He was Hindu, you know, from Pakistan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he wouldn't pay no one. <clears throat> I quit him. And I come back in Raleigh one time. He pulled out a roll of money that big. You better come back and wait for me. I said, for what? I said, you ain't paid me before. Trying to, you thought he could duke me in, you know, with a roll of money. I said, you had that before when I was with you. You know, didn't pay me. Now I'm a grown governor. Yeah. yeah. All the half ain't never been told. See, we show, night show, we show two weeks of the place sometimes. Yeah. I used to work with Cutter Bardock too. You heard talk of him, have you? Yeah, yeah. possum them, you know, grasshopper them, all of them. Yeah. Yes, sir. How big were the shows? How many people would be on the show? Uh, eight and ten. A smile never had them a mean rub and paint. Yeah, that was a big one too. You know, mean rub and paint with the devil all over tricky, you know. Young then too, you know. About 35, 40, I call that young, you know. Now I'm along getting on along to those 80, I read. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. I love the show when I got sit down for two weeks, you know. 
I kissed my old girlfriend there, you know. Yes, sir. I, I, you know, I cooked from Key West to Havana, Cuba for three years. You know. Short order. I read that mouth smack of wiki that you want to go in there. <laughs> mouth smack of wiki every year. The way I got on there, you know, I slipped on the boat. Didn't know I was on that the way I was done. Found me. I told the man, they talking about throwing me over boat, you know, don't, don't do that. I wake for it. Nothing. I worked about a week and paid me that week, you know, and then kept me all the time. Then I'm glad I go back and forth with the book all the time. From there to Jim Maker, you know. On was Nassau. One of your people on there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Did you play when you when you when you went to places like that? And I wasn't playing much then. A little bit lost young, you know. Mm -hmm. That old Peter Lost John. Train. Yeah, we three years there. Got tired there. Quit that. <laughs> Move on. Drift there. Move on. Rolling stone don't give them no more. <laughs> Lord, don't hear the tricks, man. First time I crossed the Hudson River, 1924. From Jersey City, and I rode the ferry. And call for four cents then. Stayed over three days. Greek done me good, though. He wake me about two hours, give me four dollars. Well, time was tough then. Right back cross I went. Stayed over there three days. I stand on the street, you know, and people upstairs throw the dish pan of water down on me. <laughs> I was greasy as a pig in there, and they just laughing upstairs. I said, well, time for me. I slept on the wagon there three days, you know. To move on. Then I crossed back over there, caught in that freight train, plain field, and we can't stay the good while. Then I went up east and had in town, Pennsylvania, Mount Chump, up through there. I stayed in Mount Chump a year, a little old, going to pick the show free. My time was tough then, man. Yeah, they back. Was that how you moved around on the freight train? That's what I moved around, that bum. That was a bum. Was it easy? What did you say? Was it easy? I, easy, yeah. Man. People give me something to eat, you know. I had a good time when I, when I first went up amongst him. That's above, about 18 miles above Allentown, you know. Yeah, the people fed me, give me suits of clothes. I'm not rich when I come home that time. Go and pick the show free. Oh, I could do a little work for people, they give me two dollars, and I put that in the bank with yeah, you know. Sometimes I make eight or ten. Well, man, I rich. <laughs> yeah, and man give me a place in the garage to sleep, you know, put me a bed in there, warm, heat them. I don't want to call it for that, you know. They need them. How about the railroad people? Didn't they mind you traveling on the train? Who the? the railroad people? Didn't they object to you? Oh, they couldn't. I have to check me, they just got me. If they give me five or ten days, I'll make the time. I'll really rest. Uh -huh. Oh, I've been caught a thousand times. All down in Georgia. The roughest place in the world out on that brown farm. <laughs> I went down, you know, I went down on the southern, went down to Savannah. All hoboes get off at the eight mile hill. I told him, I don't walk nowhere, man. I ain't getting down. <laughs> you know, look, <laughs> I was standing on the oil tank and I said, I'm riding downtown. Before I got the word out of my mouth, good everybody else done empty the door. Light hit me from a buff car. You know, he's up on the buff car down on the oil tank around them plane. They come out. I said, I fall off. I can't even put them up. I got the hole there. He come around there. Me and them walk down to a place he called the police. They come in that paddy wagon. Thirty days out down on that brown farm. Out there, Victor's driving up Thunderbolt, Georgia, down to me. That went out there. Time I got there, luck enough for me to see. They had a piano cut, you know. And when the band do anything wrong, they 
strapped his hands up here, had a hole, you know, and let that other thing down on it and unlock it. And then you're sitting on a plank that set your feet <laughs> and stuff down there. Then they kick the plank up to your knees, you know, slide. And you sitting there. I thought the fellow was playing the piano. Oh, Captain, he's on it. I'm sorry, I thought he was playing it. I said, God, this is a terrible place here. Whew. I was scared to death. Yeah, I stayed there them 30 days. They don't turn you loose in the daytime, you know. You make that day, they turn you loose at night. Seven miles from there to Savannah, through a wilderness. I got there. You know where I got caught again? Had a ribbon cane laying on the walk car eating. Man, you hit me. <laughs> Back to the brown farm for 30 more days. Out that after I made them 30, I, you know what kind of work I done? She hurling peas, stringing beans, all such as that, you know. All them what wasn't able to work much, you know. I was crippled, you know, muck down there, you know, it's mucky all the time. I run away. I went down through the wood and got in the swamp down there, and it come a little shower of rain. They're looking for me, you know. Then boy, them mosquitoes were tearing me up. I, look what I done. One to Yanni is. <laughs> I couldn't stand it no longer. Come back, you know what they done? Took the peg from me. Made me jump around. No, get back to me until I got ready to do. Another way to do you too, you know. They had number one chain gang out there. You know what they do for them? Strap them down, naked as a jaybird, you know. Put my glasses and sugar. <laughs> you couldn't move. Put my glass and sugar all over you, fly and black neck mosquito. Uh, couldn't wait none of my cabin, please. <laughs> my rock was laughing himself to death. And your hand stretched out, you know, two things side of your head where you couldn't move, couldn't run with them out. Mosquitoes tan you up. <laughs> black gnats, ants, all of them, that's what get in your eye, you know, fan. You know how you do when you go down and do and <laughs> I'm fanning all the time, you know. Yeah, you know where I had to leave there? Walking. Couldn't catch nobody there. Catch me every time. I walked out of there. Crippled too, you know, I couldn't run fast then. If I had two feet, I'd roll the free train right on out of there without crippled. <laughs> oh, I like to got killed a thousand times. One finger hanging. I caught one of them fast right there. One finger hanging. Man, Fong was out there looking what I had. <laughs> he didn't believe it. <laughs> Reckon I finally got another finger up there. I caught it wrong, you see. Freight train going this way, never catch the first. Catch the back where whoop you up against the car if you're going to catch them fast, you know, 35, 40 miles an hour. But I caught that wrong, caught that first one there. That throwed me around up in that room with all out my hand off with one finger. Cut them out of my eyes. You ought to see me trying to get another finger. You know, a little more strength. Finally, I got up. That phone was the eyes of that big. Look like I am. <laughs> yeah, I rode some trains. I rode that one. All out well. Like Star the Devil. Southern Pacific got a New Orleans, a sunset limit. But I didn't ride the sunset limit. I rode a freight, one of the manifest fast freight trains. And they didn't stop to get no water. You know, the, them, them, them choo choo trains then, you know. They pick up water, you know, on the fly. Them holes suck it in. Man, run fast as a passenger train, man. Three days across there. Cut them. Man, no water. That sandy desert, boy, boy. You know how I got water? Uh, the same little drip coming out of them holes. Did you see it dripping on the side? Yeah, I slept there. <laughs> yes, sir. Clever I do on half my life. In an old morning. 25, 30 years I slept out door. But it wasn't too cold. I go where the climate's good, you know. I've been, I go all up in Maine in the summertime, cool, cool all the time.
Then I come back down. I ride passenger trains after I get after I get to Washington D.C. I never rode freight train much up that way. Passenger blinding. I ride the dining car. You know them little thing there. I stand up in there all the time. You know them blinds. Never could keep a hat on my head. I'm fast for a minute. And big four, you know, New York Simpson, that's a fast one. <laughs> Wheels behind a man's head. No, pick up a track and a half, it was down the tunnel. I never did. I come down from Detroit one time, down to Buffalo Lake Erie. That's why I said I act a fool. I got <laughs> it's warm in front when the train's standing. And I got up on that cow kitchen sock back up under there. They had to pick me off when I got out in Buffalo. Look, froze to death. And meet the wind, you know, no heat. <laughs> you know, I cold it in along about September and October, up that way, you know. And I sat up, they had to pick me off. All my fingernails jumped off. Two year pip busted over. I never act that fool no more. And I think got killed this time again, coming down on the CNO. From Cincinnati, down at the Big Bend Tunnel. I wasn't in the Big Bend Tunnel. I caught the freight train right there, down below Hinton, West Virginia. And I ride down to Richmond, you know, a heap of tunnels in that on the scene over, you know. And I got up on the water tank. On the tunnel, she went with me. And that smoke that's good, she right down on me. I would die. If it had had one more minute, I'd have died. You ought to see me just scrambling for breath. Wet my shirt, you know, stuck my nose directly. I felt a little cool breeze going there. Out she went. I'd have died if I had had one more minute. Been gone that time. Yes, How'd you lose your leg? Mm, the L and N. Not the L and N. Uh, seaboard. Riley, I got cut off from Riley coming out of Richmond. Me and another old boy, you know, I got in jail down in Petersburg with the tank loose. I told the judge I never get on the